Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today, I will be introducing the components for data quality and comparison from within the SSIS Productivity Pack product. The SSIS Productivity Pack is a collection of premium SSIS components which enable greater developer productivity and increases the power of SSIS. As of this recording, the SSIS Productivity Pack offers two components in this category, diff detector and duplicate detector. These components are for the specific task of duplicate detection and data comparison, which are often referred to as data quality solutions. Diff detector is a data flow component that can be used to compare data between an old and new input. Duplicate detector is a data flow component that can be used to scan one data source and to identify any possible duplicate rows within the source system. For today's demo, we will begin with diff detector first, followed by duplicate detector. To get started with our diff detector component, we need to configure two input sources to be compared. We can now drag the diff detector component from the SSIS toolbox to the design surface and connect to the two sources. I will specify one source to be the old input, while the other source is to be the new input. The diff detector component compares data at a field level using one or more defined business keys. Data from the new input is compared to the old input to determine whether the incoming row from the new input is new or not. The component contains four outputs indicating whether the rows are unchanged, changed, and deleted from the old data source, or if the rows have been added in the new data source. There are two additional error outputs which contain the errored rows should an error happen during the comparison. Let's try to configure the component. Double click to open its editor form. The fields to compare grid displays all the available fields from the old source. Each of these fields can be paired to a field in the new source. In order for the comparison to work, at least one field has been selected as a key field, which is used to determine which rows to compare in an old and new source. Note that it is possible to designate more than one business key. Where there is more than one business key selected, it essentially works as a composite key. The similarity column allows a similarity threshold to be set for paired fields. These fields will be treated as a match if their similarity is above the threshold. Similarity can be set at a scale between 1% and 100%, with 1% being the least similar and 100% being an exact match. Let's choose a column to compare. Its match type can be set to either exact match, the generic fuzzy match, or a more specific match type. Exact match columns must be matched exactly to be considered duplicates, whereas fuzzy match columns must meet a similarity threshold. We offer other specific match types as well. Address match, first name match, company name match, phone number match, and US zip code match. With the address match option, strings are treated as street addresses and common street name prefixes and directions are treated as equivalent. For example, N and North or Avenue and Av would be treated as exact matches. With the first name match option, strings are treated as first names and common nicknames are treated as the same name. For example, Bill and William would be an exact match. With the company name match option, strings are treated as company names and common company suffixes such as Inc, Corp, and LLC are ignored when comparing. With the phone number match option, strings are parsed to attempt to identify a 10-digit phone number which is used for comparison, ignoring any other characters. With the US zip code match option, strings are parsed to attempt to identify a 5-digit zip code which is used for comparison, ignoring any other characters.
The comparison settings display which comparison settings have been selected for the column. If you click on the Edit button, a dialog window will launch that allows you to edit these settings. Selecting the Trim, Leading, and Trailing white space option will remove all white space at the beginning and end of the primary field and the lookup field when comparing. Selecting the Ignore Case option will ignore the case of the primary field and lookup field when comparing. Selecting the Ignore All White Space option will remove all white space from the primary field and the lookup field when comparing. Selecting the Ignore All Punctuation option will remove all punctuation from the primary field and the lookup field when comparing. Navigating to the Advanced Settings page, this next area will allow us to specify the settings that will be used when comparing fields. Culture Identifier is defaulted to the user's Windows Regional setting. This will be used when comparing string values. In the next section, you can choose to enable columns from the new data input and or old data input in your changed output. Selecting the columns from new data input option will cause the columns from the new data input to appear in the change rows output. Selecting the columns from old data input option will cause the columns from the old data input to appear in the change rows output. These columns will have the prefix as old. The last page is the error handling page, where there are three error handling mechanisms to choose from. The default option is fail on error, where the entire data flow will fail as soon as an error occurs. There is also the redirect rows to error output, where the error output will contain the failed records with extra columns, such as error code, error column, and error message. There is also a third option, which is to ignore any errors that may have occurred. Let's click OK to finish configuring our diff detector component. For this demonstration, we are going to add four data reader destinations for the purpose of showing you the data comparison. There are four outputs, added rows, changed rows, deleted rows, and unchanged rows. We will also add two additional data readers for the purpose of showing the error outputs for new data and old data. We will now execute the task. We will now demonstrate the duplicate detector. I have already configured my data source to be compared. As mentioned before, Duplicate Detector compares rows within a data source and identifies duplicate rows in that data source. We can now drag the Duplicate Detector component from the SSIS toolbox to the design surface and connect the two. Double-click to open its editor form. The first thing we need to do with this component is to add necessary duplicate detection fields. This can be done by clicking the Add Filter button on screen. Let's choose a column to compare. Its match type can be set to either exact match, the generic fuzzy match, or a more specific match type. Exact match columns must be matched exactly to be considered duplicates, whereas fuzzy match columns must meet a similarity threshold. Choosing a similarity threshold less than 1 indicates that we are performing a fuzzy match for the selected column. A value of 0 would not be similar at all, and a value of 1 would be an exact match. We offer other specific match types as well. Address match, first name match, company name match, phone number match, and U.S. zip code match. With the address match option, strings are treated as street addresses, and common street name prefixes and directions are treated as equivalent. For example, N and North, or Avenue and Av, would be treated as exact matches. With the first name match option, strings are treated as first names and common nicknames are treated as the same name. For example, Bill and William would be an exact match. With the company name match option, strings are treated as company names and common company suffixes such as Inc, Corp, and LLC are ignored when comparing. 
With the phone number match option, strings are parsed to attempt to identify a 10-digit phone number which is used for comparison, ignoring any other characters. With the US zip code match option, strings are parsed to attempt to identify a 5-digit zip code which is used for comparison, ignoring any other characters. Let's navigate to the comparison settings. We offer a couple of options here. For string comparison, you can choose to ignore leading and trailing white spaces. When the ignore case option is checked, we would be performing a case insensitive comparison for the chosen columns. Under the company name filter area, you can choose to ignore all white spaces and or punctuation. The last page is the error handling page, where there are three error handling mechanisms to choose from. The default option is fail on error, where the entire data flow will fail as soon as an error occurs. There is also the redirect rows to error output, where the error output will contain the failed records with some extra columns such as error code, error column, error message. There is also a third option, which is to ignore any errors that may have occurred. We can click OK to finish configuring this component. The duplicate detector has two outputs unique rows and duplicate rows. In order for a row to be considered a duplicate of another row, all of the fields found in filter columns must be considered matches. This can be either an exact match or a fuzzy match. When two rows are compared and are found to be a match, they will be directed to the duplicate rows output. This output has four additional fields, richness rank, richness score, similarity score, and group code. For richness rank, each row in a duplicate group is given a rank based on how rich its data is. For richness score, each row is given a richness score, which is meant to represent data quality. The score between 0 and 1 is equal to the number of fields that have data divided by the total number of fields. For similarity score, each row in a duplicate group, except the first one, is given a similarity score based on how similar it is to the top ranked row in the group. Two or more rows with the same group code would be considered as duplicates. The value of the group code is a numeric value, which is essentially a hash value of the top ranked row in the group. For more details about these additional fields, please refer to our online help manual page. If any one field is not able to match, the rows are not considered to be duplicates, in which case it will be directed to the unique rows output. We can now execute this task. This concludes the demonstration of the data quality and comparison components within our SSIS Productivity Pack. There are many other components in the SSIS Productivity Pack that enable developers to accomplish more in SSIS in a much more productive fashion. Please feel free to take a look at our other videos available for viewing on our website or YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. For any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us.